Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 27, Upgrade Paperclip in AWS SDK in preparation for Rails 5. Just last week, ThoughtBot released Paperclip 5 beta in preparation for Rails 5, and it now also works with AWS SDK version 2, which Paperclip 4 did not. Let's take this new version of Paperclip for a spin. We're going to test image uploads and also that it's showing in the view. We're going to upgrade Paperclip to version 5. It'll be actually be the beta. And then we're going to upgrade AWS SDK to version 2. If you want to code along, you'll need a Rails app created using Paperclip for processing and AWS for storage. I'm upgrading a client's app. I'll show you some examples from that. You can check out his awesome leadership course at this URL. Before you upgrade, you want to be sure that you're testing the current code that you have and that it's working correctly. So here's a feature spec example for an upload. This is actually a method inside of a scenario. I have a much longer scenario. So we're going to create instructor profiles and we're going to set the picture path. I've included a fixture in files Wolverine JPEG. Just for fun, we're using Wolverine as our instructor today. And of course, we're going to have his name be Wolverine. And then a little play on a very famous quote. Those of you who are very much into comics will see that I've changed up. I'm the best there is at what I do, but what I do is teach. That's what we're going to say. Look it up if you want to see what the real quote is. Then we're going to attach the file and save and continue. Then we're going to expect the page to have the next page in our workflow. We're also going to check that the instructor profile image file name is saved correctly to Wolverine JPEG. To make sure that it's loading the correct image, you would want to check the view. We're going to have a feature where the visitor sees the course sales page, make sure that profile pic is showing. And to do that, I'm actually going to use XPath. So say have XPath, and then it contains the source and make sure it has that Wolverine JPEG listed. In order to run that spec, we do need to have an instructor profile created already. So I'm going to use Factory Girl to do that. I'm also going to include the test process fixture file upload. You can include action dispatch test process in order to include that method that will include your image for that profile. So I had those tests already. I ran them. They're still working. Great. So now we're going to update Paperclip and AWS SDK. At the time of this recording, the way to get the newest version of Paperclip, version 5 beta, is to pull directly from the master branch of Paperclip. Then we're also going to update our AWS SDK gem to use version 2 as opposed to version 1. Then we're going to use the command bundle update paperclip and AWS SDK. I highly recommend not just running bundle update. That has gotten me in trouble in the... It's better to upgrade just a few gems at a time. Here's the app in my text editor. I'll navigate to the gem file and scroll on down. You see I left a note for myself to upgrade Paperclip at the same time as AWS SDK. Now I will go ahead and run bundle update Paperclip and AWS SDK and that installs those gems. Now if we just ran the spec at this point it's going to fail because we do have one more thing to do but I want to show you at the failing state what's happening. So we're going to scroll up and see that Amazon is giving us an error message because it's missing the region. When you upgrade to AWS SDK 2, it wants to know that region. For Paperclip, you would include the region with S3 underscore region and set that to your region. I'm using Figaro to manage my super secret environment variables. I'll set that in my YAML file. If you need to find which region you are in, you can click on that link and it goes straight to a listing on Amazon. Let's go ahead back to our app and go into app models and then my instructor profile model. And now I'm going to include that after the other S3 settings and save. We'll run the spec again to be sure that it passes and it does. I ran the spec where we check the view and it also passes. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ruby Thursday and this Ruby Snack. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign on up 
to get more awesomeness in your inbox. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click this big red button. You get the videos just a little bit before everyone else. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.